We're going to do a one take recliner vlog this evening. Happy Friday! I didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday, I did nothing. After Jack was here for company and I was running every day doing the stuff, Thursday, I stayed in my pajamas. I did nothing. I did write out a few little bills for work, but Dad took my stuff to be mailed and the deposit for my business. <coughs> I watched. That Ted Bundy movie with Zac Efron, really good. What else did I watch yesterday? I tried to catch up on videos because when Jack's here, I would just put on the watch later list and I was up to like, I'm still 70 some odd videos on that list, but I'm whittling through, but then I keep adding every day. So <laughs> I'll get there. And uh, so it was a nice day yesterday and they called saying my van was done yesterday a day early because I didn't think it was going to get done till today. So I didn't think I was going to get to the, go to the pool today because I thought I was going to have to wait here for the call. But I got the call yesterday. So Dad took the rental and got Larry, and they went and got the van and stuff. They did a guy's trip to go get it, and um, Dad's like, guess what I found in that rental you had? I said, what? He's like, oh, I was clean, making sure all your stuff was out of there, and I reached down in the side door pocket and there was a baggie full of marijuana <laughs> i'm like what i told that to jack i said yeah can you imagine that one day when we use the car we get pulled over and we're gonna be those people like we, we swear it's not ours we don't know where it came from <laughs> so he took it into enterprise and said this was in that car and then um dad thought he'd left a seatbelt extender in it so i called down there and i said do you know that we found a baggie of marijuana in one of those cars. And the guy's like, you're kidding me. Because he had given it to some girl that worked there. And he goes, I am so sorry about that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So someone lost their stash. <laughs> and I was so happy. You can't even tell it was hit anymore. It looks so pretty. And they washed it and this vacuumed the inside. And it has that new car smell because they put smelly stuff in there. They did a good job. They did a good job. So that's nice. It was nice being in my Marauder today. That's for sure. Because I know exactly how to get in and out of it. I know exactly how it feels. I know exactly it works for me. So it was wonderful. <laughs> my cousin was just up here before Dad went to play cards. Oh, last night. Let's go to last night first. I'm laying in bed about 8. About 8.20. Dad's in here in the recliner watching TV. Bang, bang, bang on the front door. And as you all know, we have no deck, so there's no way to get in our front door. But we always lock, our house is locked up, so you can't get in the garage. You just can't get in unless you get somebody's attention. So I'm thinking, maybe somebody's looking at the boat in the front yard, because my cousin Bart has a boat out there. And so I hear Dad go out into the garage and open the door, and I hear him come back in. And I hear him in the kitchen running water. And I'm like, what's he doing? I'm like, who was out there? He's like, it was Bart. He just came in from the woods and he brought me a little batch of morel mushrooms. Dad was so happy. We didn't, I don't think we had any morels last year. Um, if you've never had a morel mushroom, they tasty. And they're wild and they have a short growing, you know, season. So it's always nice when you get them. Like in the grocery stores, they're about $50 a pound. So um, they're expensive. That's why people go out and hunt their own. So he he had went out at this place where he thought he might be able to find, find some. But they weren't the nice big ones that we could cut in half and roll in flour and fry them. They were the more smaller tender ones. But on Sunday, he's going to fry them in some butter and scramble them in some eggs. And then I'm going to um, steam some asparagus. So we're going to have an egg scramble and asparagus on Sunday for lunch. Because tomorrow is a fish fry, and um, when we make breakfast, it's more like lunch time. We don't make breakfast early. Uh, so I said, why don't we wait till Sunday and do that? Dad's like, yeah, because he'd forgot about the fish fry tomorrow. So um, we'll do that. So today I went to the pool, got to see all the ladies. Um, don't mind my stubble, I did not shave today. So I'm a little bearded. <laughs> uh, we had 15 of us in class today. We had three new people. So that was nice. Um, 
it was a good time. I got in the pool at 12.30, and I was in there till 3.15. So I got a lot of a lot of joint work in, in there. My joints missed it, too. When I got in, I'm like, oh, wow. And Jonathan is was the is a lifeguard until one. So for half an hour, I got I said, "Can I ask you a question?" He's like, "What?" I'm like, "Have you seen Endgame?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Thank God somebody to talk about it with." So me and him talked. Uh, excuse me, about the movie. Um, since I couldn't have a conversation on game day because Nikki and Jack haven't seen it, and Alan, I did. So we couldn't really talk about it, or else people would get mad. Nikki and I are making a movie date night for next week sometime. I think Thursday's the day we're choosing. But we don't know what we're going to go see yet. I think I think she'll probably pick Pikachu Detective and or Detective Pikachu. Uh, although, if she hasn't seen Endgame yet, maybe we'll go see Endgame again. I'll see it again. There's a lot to see in that movie, so I would gladly watch it over. And I will gladly not drink a soda because it's three hours long. Um, dad is playing cards. They just started playing like 15 minutes ago. Because it's 7.15, they always start at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, they yell, start! <laughs> and, uh, so he'll be home about 10. I'm going to watch some shows. I'm going to watch the new Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. I watched last week's yesterday, no, yesterday? Yeah, when dad was gone for a while. <laughs> Station 19 made me cry. Oh, man, it was so sad. Poor Vic. Ugh. But anyway, what are you guys doing for your weekend? It's upon us. It's going to be Mother's Day on Sunday. Maybe Dad and I will go out to the cemetery and take something out there. I don't think I have anything to take out there right now, but just go out to visit. Um... I know tomorrow morning, I think they're having a Mother's Day farmer's market? No. Mother's Day sale thing? It's like where they shut off a, to a town, this little town, and they're going to have like vendors and stuff. Mother's Day flea market, maybe that's it. I don't know. And maybe we'll go to that, who knows. Depends on the weather, really, that's all, it depends on the weather. Getting ready to have my dinner, which I picked up after the Y. I got me a bean burrito with extra onion and two hard chilled tacos. Because that's, that's my go-to. Um, because that was my mom's go-to. So I copy my mama. I got, I got one of those um, watermelon freezies earlier too. Which is refreshing. But now I'm going to have a Mountain Dew, which I haven't had one in a while, so... It'll probably make my, my eyes tear up. And when I haven't had caffeine, I've had caffeine a bit this week because we bought soda for game night. So we have had soda in the house, which is not common here. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm just talking about a bunch of nonsense, man. A lot of nonsense. But I'm going to roll out. And I'm going to turn on the TV. I haven't even turned on the TV yet. I just got sat down when I started to talk to you. Fine, folks. So, I'll see you later. I probably won't upload a video tomorrow. Um, see, now when I do a one take, I can load it on the YouTube from my camera roll. But when I do one with multiple takes on the iMovie, I can't upload it until the morning for some reason. So, this will go up tonight. Uh, if I do, I might film over the next couple days and then upload it either Sunday or Monday. We'll see what happens. So, you might not see me for a day or two. Just warning you now. Bye!